Okay, we're going to demonstrate the uh, new Range Rover P38 coverage. In this uh, video, we'll demonstrate the uh, BCM functions. The BCM doesn't have a fault code as such, it does have a RF memory you can test key fobs with, and an outstation memory to check the communication with the seats. But uh, one of the main features of the BCM is the uh, settings. There's quite a lot of settings, so they're broken down into uh, four separate areas. Each item has uh, this current setting shown, which you can then toggle and uh, go over to different pages. Showing the options. In many cases where you've got multiple options, you simply toggle through the different engine uh, types. Won't make any changes into uh, this BCM here. More alarm related ones, how the thing works, configuration, some uh, code information. This is the software level and the uh, firmware version of the particular BCM fitted. Whenever you make changes within any of these, you write the settings, and this actually writes the uh, entire setback to the vehicle. Of course, we have inputs. Again, there's a huge amount of inputs. We're uh, looking at the input status for all the uh, different bits and pieces. You see the uh, sunroof, for example, and the uh, mirror joystick left and right. And when the button is pressed, you see the status change from 12 volts to ground, as I've just demonstrated there. And again, multiple pages showing the live data from every other switch that's possible with the vehicle. Window switches. Lights, wash wipers, obviously, dashboard. All the uh, inputs that are possible from everything the BECM sees. Another page showing the inputs from the seat switches and the uh, data that comes in from the engine and gearbox. For example, the engine temperature values, and so on. The gearbox XYZ, which is shown on the dashboard. These are the two inputs from the uh, air suspension system. The transfer box. On the outputs page, Again, a number of uh, selections that you control any of the outputs. Okay, we're going to do the uh, doors in this particular one. And we have the front right door lock, front right door unlock. You can see you can turn it off. And the same, turn the locking on. Probably hear the solenoid clicking away. more pages of options that you can drive. Finally we have a utility section and this is where you can resync an odometer if you change the instrument cluster or the BECM and this is the uh, reset service interval on the North American specification and finally there's a disarm function some of these uh, have the ability to disarm the, the, the alarm system if it's armed provided you enter the correct EKA.